Dr. Resman, what is your assessment of the Resilient Journalism Project in North Macedonia? Yeah, I am organizer of uh, the Media Dialogue Project and Eastern Partnership. And uh, so we, let's say, uh, several years ago, I met uh, Xavier Derella, Civil Media Online. Uh, and we uh, quickly imagined that a lot of problems here in North Macedonia with propaganda, building democracy, are important also for the Eastern Partnership countries. And uh, so Xavier uh, Derella took part uh, as a lot of online uh, statements during the Media Dialogue project. And so that was the base that uh, uh, We got a founder, uh, North China, the government of North China Westphalia, to make a project here. And I think it's uh, really great that Media Dialogue goes Balkan. Uh, you mentioned uh, Media Dialogue. Tell us more about the Media Dialogue. Uh, what are the achievements and what are the main challenges in your work? The main challenges are, uh, is a slogan... Uh, Don't feed the flame, tell the truth, meaning fight against propaganda, uh, uh, inform the audience uh, about yeah, whatever truth is, but with double-checked, uh, with uh, different points of view, uh, and to uh, connect this work with the education of students and professional journalists, and uh, education at the universities, uh, and uh, um, <coughs> artists too, because art is also a very, very important thing for, trans, uh, for transport, um, content and uh, points of view. So uh, this network is uh, international uh, from uh, Ukraine starting, then uh, Belarus joined us, the uh, Belarus uh, journalist organization, now in exile, then Georgia, Armenia and uh, Uh, also uh, Moldova uh, in 2021 and now we are in Macedonia and uh, I think this combination is great to share our experiences and uh, to show that in every uh, country in Germany uh, uh, also like in Macedonia people are fighting for democracy and being supported uh, by uh, young people being supported by journalist organizations that we are really a working network. Uh, resilient Journalism is a project uh, for countering disinformation and propaganda and in these five days we are uh, talking a, a lot about uh, disinformation and propaganda but my question is uh, what is your uh, assessment of the Russian propaganda in Germany? Yeah, we have um, we have a lot uh, of Russian propaganda, uh, let's say trials uh, in the past, and uh, we have a political combination between right wing um, populism, right wing extremism uh, connected to to Russian propaganda, uh, and they tried uh, to use RT Russia Today plus Sputnik. Uh, we are cable networks, we are satellites uh, to, uh, yeah, to make their propaganda connecting uh, as an add-on this right, uh, reporting about right-wing populism uh, too. So we have uh, influence um, of Russian propaganda together with this uh, conspiracy series. Um, together with uh, anti-corona uh, protesters. Uh, now we have this big uh, police uh, investigation against the so-called Reichsbürger who said Germany is not existing as a legal state. And uh, so Russian propaganda is also uh, present in Germany, connected to this right-wing scene in corona times during their protests. Uh, they went to uh, the Russian embassy and said, uh, Putin, help. Uh, that was unbelievable. Um, no, uh, the war against Ukraine uh, made uh, this uh, right-wing scene a little more careful uh, connecting uh, connect with their connections to, uh, to Russia, but it still exists. And we have uh, 
problems uh, or hybrid war situation that uh, Russian hackers are attacking German infrastructure uh, structure, the parliament uh, uh, and uh, and so on. So there is a hidden war also uh, in Germany um, with uh, the extremists uh, of Russia. As a conclusion, so what is the way ahead? What should we do to uh, fight, uh, which kind of fight we have to use to uh, finally to get to the, the point that we can discuss for something something more than this disinformation and propaganda? Yeah, I think we, we should use, uh, uh, let's say, um, the other side. And the other side means fighting for democracy, fighting for, democrat, the, for democratic uh, values, fighting uh, and supporting, uh, telling the truth, what's going on in the societies, informing our audience and informing our audience about our values, about how democracy is uh, is working fighting against corruption fighting for social uh, secure system uh, and how important it is with reports uh, where democracy needs uh, or our our societies in whole western uh, europe uh, are needing reforms and so on and being self confident in uh, in democracy and uh, i think this is a much better point to stand not on the black Standing on the other side, but being self, uh, self making self criticism uh, too, and showing that um, yeah, a discourse and a discussion uh, uh, with the thesis, the antithesis, and a new solution is a much better way than uh, the simple answers of uh, uh, coming from the right wing populists and coming from uh, Russia Imperium. Thank you very much. Thank you.